Now everybody's gonna see it. Hello you dirty potters, how are you today? Today is going to be a good old fashioned box opening video, I'm going to see all the stuff you guys send me. Turns out ever since the last Potter Mail video we did, a lot of people want my P.O. box so they can send me stuff. So this right here is a small fraction of things you guys have sent me over time. But a lot more of you have been asking what my P.O. box information is, so I've been simply leaving it at the bottom of every single video in the description below. So I figured I'd open them on camera, just in case you guys send me some super weird junk. It's like one person sent me something now. Everybody wants to, this seems really threatening, I'm gonna put this down. This is to open packages, I'm not threatening you from over the internet. Let's start off with this one right here. It looks like some kind of lotion or something, it's called Crack Attack. Oh, and look, it even came with a little note. I just wanted to send you this as a thank you for all the teaching and how you support other potters. I put my nursing career aside and started my skincare line a few years ago. I created Crack Attack. Oh, so this totally must be like a lotion or a skincare thing going on. And I kind of assume this is like lip balm, but made by the same exact person. Okay, cool. That's awesome. You guys remember when I burnt the crap out of my hand? So maybe this will work magic. Yeah, because I print zuko my right hand. Until I started pottery, that is. Crack Attack is becoming our number one seller. I thought it might be of some use to you, because everyone's skin in California is dry. Yeah, every, everything in California is dry. Even our water's dry. I know others are becoming patrons just to get free stuff. Your time, cost, and energy for making your work far exceeds the $5 subscriptions per month. I'm happy to watch and learn from you. If you do, however, think Crack Attack benefits Potter's hands, by all means, give it a shout out. But that is not why I'm sending it to you, truly. Just my way of saying thank you. Fondly, Jennifer Mayers. Thank you, Jennifer. I actually really appreciate this. Um, I will give this a try and I will definitely message you. As you guys know, all my patrons have a direct line to me, so I will personally message you and tell you how I liked it, and I will be honest with you. Although, when I use lotion, it's usually not for my hands, so... I'm actually gonna keep this letter too, Jennifer. Thank you very much. I, I save stuff like this. When you guys send me stuff, I do save it and put it in a special place, just as a memory for you guys, so thank you very much. Let's do this one right here. I actually received this quite some time ago, and this was a giant, giant shock because I totally forgot somebody was going to send this to me. This was actually before I even had a P.O. box, and this showed up at my old studio, just on the door, like this, with my name on it, and I totally thought I had a stalker. Sad thing is, the first thing I thought when I saw this wasn't like, oh no, I have a stalker, I should keep safe. I was like, oh man, I have a stalker, but she's blonde. This is actually horsehair, and just for those of you who don't know, the reason I need horsehair is for pieces like this. This is a raku pot, but these little black lines right here that I like quite a bit actually are made with horsehair. This one I made about three years ago, and it's so big it actually doesn't fit in the camera. But if you don't put glaze on a pot and instead you just take out white clay from a raku, and then you put some horsehair on it, it makes these little lines as they curl up right here. This is the reason why I need this type of hair, and this will most likely last me a very long time. I think it's like every potter's dream to just have a friend who has horses who need to be trimmed every now and then to get this type of material all the time. This is definitely something that I'm gonna hold on to. And thank you so much. I can't quite remember who sent it to me, but I do know they're on my friends list. I will definitely contact you later. Thank you so much for this. This is gonna keep me stocked for quite some time. This one is a little bit big, so let's see how this one goes. Yo, this is packed up to the teeth. This looks ceramic. Oh, I remember this person. This is Steve. Oh, man, that's gorgeous. It looks like little tea leaves at the bottom. Ooh. For those of you who don't know, when I first started the channel, I started to keep really close tabs on the people that kept in contact with me when I had, like, 50 followers. And Steve was one of those people, so one day he contacted me and said, Hey, do you have any salt-fired stuff? And I said no. And then I sent him something, and he sent me something. Problem is, I didn't open it for, like, three months. This is actually the only salt-fired piece that I have ever touched. This is gorgeous. He's even got a signature down there. It's SK. Oh, this is nice. This is really, really nice. Thank you very much, Steven. I really hope you enjoy that gold mug that I sent you as well. It was a nice, this was a good trade. I'm really, I enjoy this a lot. Bonus story about Steven. Steve used to be the name that I gave NPCs in first-person shooter games that got in your way whenever you try and do anything. And me and my girlfriend use this term a lot. We call guys or NPCs that don't know what's going on Steves. You ever have a companion in Skyrim that just messes up your entire sneak attack game? That's a Steve now. 
But ever since I started talking to this Steve right here, he's just he's been so nice to me that I've literally had to change the name of the shitty NPCs that I get. Now all their names are Anthony. This one here is really just a piece of mail, but it feels a lot thicker than normal, so we're gonna open this up and see what's inside. I know some of you are screaming right now because this is not the way you open a letter, but I don't care, because I do it my way. It was supposed to be super cool and slide right off the side, but I literally couldn't get it open because it was stuck on this part right here. Oh look, it came with another letter. Dear Dante, it's been a fortnight ever since I felt the warm embrace. <laughs> Dante, this is just a thank you for all the information that you have shared with me. My husband says you know your <laughs> I think every artist should have merchandise of his or own quotes, so I thought I would send you decals to dress up your water bottle, your car, or whatever. Peel the sticky part off very slowly. It does not let go. Sincerely, Bernadine Chicky Cooper. And I'm assuming Chicky is her nickname. Although, I'm, I'm gonna get in trouble calling you Chicky, so I'm not gonna call you that. You trying to make me get divorced around here. And she's right, I don't think I'm a big enough channel to have my own merchandise. I've thought about it, but I really don't think that'll happen for quite some time. It's a little bit invisible, I don't know if you could see it, but it says, Hello, you dirty potter. This is in white, so that way I can stick it on something that's really dark and it'll come out. This one says, Potter Tip. It is highly necessary to give it a potter tip. The potter tips are those little things that you'll usually figure out along the process after doing them for so long, but if I tell you now, it'll click way faster. You're laying down on your couch in your underwear, looking all sexy, all of a sudden you get a good potter tip in there. Oh, and she sent me duplicates, that's nice. So I got one potter tip, I got another potter tip, and I got two dirty potters. That's so nice, thank you so much, Bernadine. I'm probably gonna put one of these on my kiln, and then I'll put, I'm, I'm not gonna put this on my car, nobody's gonna get it, but the people that do know I'm a potter, are gonna think I'm trying to hit on them from my car with giving you the potter tip. But thank you guys so much for sending me this stuff. It makes me really happy to see stuff that you've made yourselves and sent to me simply because like I'm a crafting channel and crafting is kind of right up my alley and I really like that kind of stuff. So thank you guys for sending me this stuff. But I think that about does it for this episode. Thank you guys so much again for sending me stuff. I really, really do appreciate it. I get at least five messages every couple weeks of people who are like, what's your PO box address? Just to let you guys know, it's down below in the description below. My Instagram, my Facebook, the music that was playing at the time of this video in the background and my PO box are always gonna be in the description and the link down below. With that being said, if you have any questions, the links are down below for your beautiful Potter eyes. And I will see you Dirty Potters next week. All of a sudden you get a good Potter tip in there.